in the Alps near the Italian Swiss border in the canton of Graubünden, a technical and extraordinary operation must be realized. At the bottom of Puntalgal Dam at a depth of 115 meters and after 50 years of operation, intakes have to be changed for both the power generation and for the water supply of the downstream river. The equipment comes from all across Europe, pontoons which are supporting the whole infrastructure are from the Netherlands, the containers are from Switzerland, diving support from France and the breathing gas cylinders from Scotland. The hydromechanical equipment is manufactured in Switzerland, Italy, Germany or Austria. Saturation diving equipment is the property of Hydrocast from Grenoble, France, specialized in deep diving interventions. Once the pontoons have been positioned on the reservoir, the saturation diving system is installed. For its operation, all the chambers and technical units are connected. One of the main components, the diving bell, ensures the transfer of divers from their living habitat on the surface to the work area at the bottom. This first step is a success and everybody's happy to take part in the ceremonial initiation of the pontoon launch. The system is now set up and ready. It's time to get started with this job in the depths of the reservoir. So here we are on the pontoons located on the reservoir's surface of Punt del Galdan for the Engadina Kraftwerke. They hired us to plug both bottom outlets and intakes on their dam so they can undertake maintenance on their gates downstream and carry out anti-corrosion work on the steel lining. For this very specific task, the Engadina Kraftwerke hired three companies, Hydro Exploitation, Hydrocast and TSM Perote, who are able to manage such technical work. Our company has been hired for sediment dredging. Our goal is to remove and clean sediment below the trash rakes in front of the bottom outlet, so divers can fit the bulkhead and ensure perfect sealing. Currently we're approximately at 94 meters depth and we still hope to go further down. The sediment was quite liquid in the upper part, but now we've reached a level that's more compact, so we're going down slowly. Here, now the sonar is submerged at 63 meters, and here's the dam wall, which is slightly arched. Below, we are just above the intake and bottom outlet. It's the overhang outer point that we can see here on the concrete. Then the beginning of these small points will guide us down to the pump. Then we go back to a pipe that allows sediment extraction. In this kind of work, surprises are frequent. At the very bottom, debris from the dam's construction was lying in front of the intakes. The only way to evacuate such debris is by crane equipped with a grappler to extract and remove it. For this underwater work, hydro exploitation uses a remotely operated vehicle which can record ongoing operations at depth. Ten meters. Twenty-three meters. Fifty meters. Fifty meters. 
100 meters, stop. Here we can see that the bulkhead has been installed and the manhole. From our side, we were asked a year ago to ensure medical assistance for the saturated divers and surface divers. So we planned a scenario involving a wounded person with trauma who has an accident underwater or inside the diving bell. The goal is to rescue the wounded person from the bell and bring him to the medical chamber, which can be problematic because the way out is not straight. We also have a right angle to go through. With a wounded person who may be unconscious, it can be difficult because he cannot help us. Hydrocast is responsible for the underwater work because we're the only company in France able to carry out saturation diving works to a depth of 200 meters. For this project, we work down to 115 meters, which is still a real challenge. We can manage to mobilize a lot of equipment within a very short time. To give an idea, for this project we mobilized 600 tons of equipment within two weeks. It's a premiere for us and it's a major project. We've never installed such big and heavy parts at that depth. The diving bell is connected to the pressured area of the divers. Two divers will go inside the bell, which will then act like a lift. It descends to the working area. The main job consists of installing a very large bulkhead. It's 15 meters wide and 8 meters high. In atmospheric conditions it weighs 33 tons, but underwater it's only around 20 tons. When submerged, we'll be under the arch section of the dam with a 5 meter overhang. We need to move it closer and fit it in a vertical position. Then we have 30 chemical anchors to bore and seal with resin. Depressions will be made from the inside. The internal gallery will then be empty and we'll need to check all 30 bolts. That will be the end of the stage of the operation. This part, the gas regeneration of the system, is used to eliminate carbon dioxide produced by the divers and to eliminate humidity through these filters, which is also produced by the divers. And it's also used for temperature regulation inside the chambers. We have a cooling and warming system with which we can regulate the temperature. So this unit is used to generate breathing gas and keep divers alive and healthy. After many operations to install all structures, saturation diving work can now begin with the installation of the bulkheads. Through the bottom opening of the bell, the divers head for the working area. Bulkhead installation in front of the intake will last a few weeks. It is just after they are set up that the client will proceed in dry conditions to the refurbishment work downstream. One of the bulkheads allows a minimum transfer of water downstream to ensure the survival of living organisms that are specific to the terrestrial ecosystem. Can you hear me? The client just did the final inspection on the intake, so we will start decompression and you should be out of the chamber in three days, Saturday night around 8 p.m. Thanks for the good job, guys.
After three weeks of confined living in a saturation environment and three days of decompression, the divers are back to sunlight with their friends. The operation is successful thanks to everybody's skill and great experience. The success of a project is one thing, but it really becomes an achievement when everybody can go back home. This success will certainly bring new projects and demonstrates the potential of saturation diving.